Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I think a lot of people do miss the point that when they want to attract something into their life, if they want to make something reality, they forget the most important thing. What is the most important thing? It is belief. Everything starts, of course, also from a thought, but if you do not believe, if you don't have belief in it, why would you want to make this your reality if you don't even believe in that? So let's say you want to manifest something and you're not even believing it. So why would you want to make that reality? So where's the point? And yeah, so I want you to just know that you can make your imaginations into reality. You don't know how, you don't know when, but that's okay. Because we are co-creating also with the universe eventually things will happen and often people also ask like okay when are things gonna happen so like i'm sorry i have to talk down <laughs> yeah, people are asking like when are things gonna happen what i notice for myself okay things can happen anytime but what i also noticed is that when you're like at your lowest point like you're manifesting something and you're just like at your lowest point and then suddenly something pops up this is like the universe has your back you know so you're not alone on this if you're like stressed out because of something and like okay things are not working the way i want them to and you're getting into a point where like nothing is working anymore then often universe sends you opportunity that brings you to your manifestation this is what i have noticed but okay let's say you're almost somewhere where you're giving up what should you do if you're at a point where you're almost giving up? You think about why you were even starting something. And then you go back to that feeling, to when you begin with that. And then you think about how did you feel and why you wanted it. Like before you give up that you think about how did I feel when I wanted to start this? Why did I want it this? And then let's say you have that thing that you desired or you're on your way and things are changing. You're in a new environment, like it doesn't have to be like physically, but things are changing, okay? And how does that make you feel? That probably makes you feel like, okay, it's weird. Things are changing. Like it's kind of weird and it doesn't mean it's bad, but it feels new. It doesn't feel like being in your comfort zone so it feels uncomfortable like for example when it's like the first day of school after summer break like imagine how does it feel like you had like your summer break for all these weeks and then suddenly it's the last day and the yeah, end and you think about okay tomorrow is the first day of school and then it doesn't feel good like it does feel uncomfortable because things are changing again or like in countries where there are seasons like winter, spring, summer, fall, then I noticed that every time the season changed, my feelings also did change. Like from winter to spring, it was weird. Even though I like warm seasons like spring, summer, but it does feel weird. Like from winter and suddenly I hear the birds chirping and it does have a particular feeling to it like i don't know probably those people who know they know um yeah but it does bring a weird feeling to it because things are changing but then a couple of days have passed and then you're adapting to it like it doesn't feel weird anymore it's like it feels like normal you're already adapting to the new environment with the summer vacation example after a week or a couple of days okay probably it sucks maybe but you're like already adapting to it like it already feels like normal to you and yeah that's because humans adapt very fast actually so change feels weird but humans adapt so fast that those feelings probably won't stay forever and so we adapt real fast and adapt to the new energies and yeah that's what happens after you probably take the next step closer to your manifestations taking opportunities and even if it feels like uncomfortable but you're taking action and going through that uncomfortable situation or whatever and change and yeah but as i told you humans adapt fast and that's a good thing i guess there's also good things and bad things or bad things and good things like 
it's always how you see like your perspective on everything and that's also like how this world works there's actually not a good or bad it just is and often people think like okay but we need a good or bad balance like 50 percent bad 50 percent good but that's not how it works everything is just is and it's also like like i said the perspective of it so let's say two people are in a fight and there's not like okay this person is the good one this is the bad one but it's also like understanding from each perspective and also like with all other things it's just the perspective like the view from where you see it um so yeah there's not really a good or bad and you can always see a good thing and a bad thing so this is basically what i wanted to say these are things also actually which i wish i had known before my 20s but i don't really regret that i didn't know that because why should i regret it life goes on and probably i was like in a different stage at that time and everyone everything has its own pace and that's fine but yeah, I want to share with you the things that I wish I knew before my 20s. So yeah, probably that also can help you. And yeah, like I said, I don't regret not knowing things before. Because regret would be like from the past. And yeah, why should I be like thinking about the past too much? Like things happen for a reason, right? And yeah, it's like I'm not attached to the past or anything. But yeah, I just want to share with you and what I think what i probably dealt the most with was that i was rushing things so here's the first thing don't rush because why should you rush things it's like you can start anything anytime and it doesn't matter how old you are like okay if you want to accomplish something at a specific age but it's like not your time now then just let it be like not let it be but like you can work on that thing but you don't need to rush it because you have time and often when you rush things you don't think it through or you act you tend to act before you think or act too fast and then things don't go the way you wanted them to be and then you regret it <laughs> so that's what i'm suggesting you to not rush things you can take your time and i'm not saying that you should procrastinate or something or be lazy that's not what i'm saying but i'm saying that you can think things through before rushing into things so that's what i mean and that's where i also had like a lot of lessons to learn because i rushed things all over and over again but I think and now every time i think like oh my god i really want this but then i start like i get to it with the energy of it's fine if it's not happening so fast like now i'm approaching it with more chill energy and thinking about like okay this will work out i'm not rushing if this is meant to be for me then it will happen then it will be oh, it's getting hot again. and yeah by the way, I'm just looking at my list right now because I wrote down a list of all the things that I wanted to tell you that I wish I knew before my 20s and then I looked at my list and I saw that I talked about something that I said at the beginning of this video so about there's no good or bad so that's already done I guess so yeah that's also one thing like nothing is good or bad it just is and it's about your perspective about it and and there's always so if you feel like down if something bad happens then look at it from something maybe that from perspective or think like okay maybe i can learn from that maybe there's a lesson in it i can learn from that lesson i can take something away from that where it helps me to learn from it and that's also actually with past present and future like don't live in the past or future because first of all you cannot change things from the past but what you can do is to change how you look at that so it's also like with the perspective thing sometimes very horrible things happen in the past but can you do anything about the past yeah sure you can start healing or changing things changing your behavior or whatever but can you change that past not really so 
don't be attached to that you have to let go and yeah like i said maybe see what you could have learned from that from that event probably it gives you a lesson and even if you think like okay but it's just like something small that happened okay probably still you could find something in that that has a lesson for you and yeah also don't look for the future because this is now this is your moment you can create your future your reality by living in the now so because now is the time where you create it and also don't be too attached to the future because you have to live your life like like if you live in the present moment and you enjoy the now then this is how you create a future where you are enjoying your life as well because when you're grateful for the things now, if you're enjoying your life now and approaching things with a positive and open mindset, then you'll create a life, a future that gives you more than you can imagine of. Because you're kind of in a frequency which is like a higher frequency. Like being grateful, having a positive mindset, giving yourself positive affirmations. That is raising your vibration, raising your frequencies. And then you are attracting things into your life that are on that frequency. So that's how you create your future. And I'm not saying that being on a lower frequency is bad. Because let's say you're sad or angry and that's that's normal, that's human. People can be sad or have a frustrating feeling that is on the lower frequency. That That's fine. That's, that's just human. You can raise your frequency to just attract the things in your life that you want to have and the lower frequency won't go away you cannot just like push it away it's always there it's just the base and you're just climbing up or raising your vibrations and let me tell you you can attract things into your reality that you could have never imagined of for real because the impossible is possible because there are three things imagine the circle or imagine this chart so this is only approximately so imagine this chart okay so there are 10 percent the things that you know so let's say you know that you can draw let's say you you can draw you know that you can draw or you know that you can sing or you know you know english so and then there are things that you know that you don't know let's say you cannot play the guitar you know you don't know how to play the guitar you know you don't know karate so you're aware of things that you don't know and that's it's 25 percent. so we have for the 10 percent the things that you know and then 25 percent the things that you know that you don't know now what's with the rest like what's with the 65 percent like what's with the rest those are the things that you don't know that you don't know what do i mean by this so there are things in life in this world in this universe that are possible that do exist but you don't know of them so you're not aware of them and why i'm telling you this is because you can go beyond what you imagine of let's say you want to have whatever you it is you want and you don't know how to get to that then let me tell you there are a lot of opportunities that you didn't know of how you could reach that goal but they are in existence and they are possible or you think those things are impossible but these are possible but they could bring you to your goal or maybe there are things in life that are even beyond your goals. So like things that you could just not imagine of but are possible. I am also talking from experience. I also learned that from experience. Because sometimes things happen to me like what I think like, oh my god, this is actually so impossible but that happened. And I didn't even know that these things could happen or that these things even exist so that's why i'm also saying nothing is impossible and now you're asking okay so how will i know these things that i don't know of well that's easy you just have to open your mind 
you have to get rid of limiting beliefs you have to open your mind receive what comes in your way let's say even if those are challenges be open let things come to your way take opportunities go through life with an open mind and start being conscious be aware of things around you and that's how you start opening your mind this is how it will start and yeah actually actually i still have some things on my list but right now they don't really fit in to these topics like what i'm talking about so i probably will mention them next time or in another video but yeah i hope you understand like what i'm saying is that you can achieve things let me wrap this up so you can achieve your things you can achieve more than you can imagine you can make your imagination to reality if you start opening your mind if you start becoming aware become conscious there are also a few practices that i've showed you or that i have shared with you in my previous videos so don't hesitate to check them out so that's the first things that you do and that you see things from different perspectives start looking at situations let's say this bad situation happened and you're viewing that from one perspective so like this is bad probably things are bad but also start viewing that like for yourself viewing that from another perspective like it's also a good practice just for yourself being open-minded seeing different perspectives and then the next steps are like if you receive things if you get opportunities that you take action because where you are is comfort zone do you know what a pendulum is let's say you're swinging your pendulum like it's swinging right and left like this and it's always like in the same range so it's swinging in the same range and this is your comfort zone but where can you find the magic when you're always in the comfort zone what is beyond these walls here this is out of your comfort zone so your pendulum or you swing out of that comfort zone and that's where you find your magic maybe not right away like i said you don't have to rush things i said that before like in this video right you don't have to rush things but this is how you can start finding new opportunities new ways and maybe in the end your goal from the beginning isn't your goal when you go through life maybe it's also something different because you're going through life you're learning new things seeing things from another perspective and then maybe you have even something greater in mind this is what i wanted to share with you today i just want to say thank you so much for tuning in for staying until the end and yeah i appreciate all of you and thank you so much i hope to see you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe and Bye!